Hello, listener. Welcome to Agriculture Lesson for Grade 4. Today, we shall learn about the uses of water in farming. We shall learn about the uses of water in farming. Get your notebook and pen ready. Your radio teacher is Mr. Dominic Muhia. Welcome to the program. Hello, Lana. Welcome to our agriculture lesson for grade 4. Today, we are going to learn about the uses of water in farming. The uses of water in farming. I will start by asking you, what is a resource? What is a resource? You can use the internet or your dictionary and get the meaning of a resource. A resource is something you can use to create wealth. A resource is something you can use to create wealth. Lana, name three examples of resources. Name three examples of resources. Yes, resources include water, land, sunlight, animals, and many more. All these are resources, and they help us to create wealth. I want us to look at one resource we call water. Water is a resource, and water is a scarce resource because it is not easily available. Lana, name for me four sources of water. Name for me four sources of water. If your answer is rain, spring, river, lake, stream, ocean, wells, or sea, then you are correct. Those are the sources of water that we have. These sources of water include rain, spring, river, lake, streams, ocean, wells, and seas. Lana, can you state for me three ways how you use water for your own use at home? State three ways how you use water for your own use at home. Every morning, we need water to brush our teeth, to wash our face, and to bathe. We also need water to drink. We should drink at least seven to eight glasses daily in order to stay healthy. 
every day we should drink at least seven to eight glasses in order to stay healthy. We also need water to wash our hands and to use in toilets. We use water for cooking food, washing utensils, and cleaning the house. Water is also used by firemen to put out a fire. Lana, now let us look at uses of water in farming. How do we use water in farming? In farming, we have plants and animals. Plants need water to stay healthy. Plants need water to live. Do you have plants that you have grown at home? Think of the different plants that we grow around our homes. Lana, I want you to try and plant some flowers around your compound. It is good practice to water the flower beds every day. This ensures healthy growth of plants. The food crops and cash crops that we grow require water to stay healthy. Just the way we use water for our own health. Plants also require water to stay healthy. Lana, let us now look at animals. Can you name for me examples of domestic animals? Name the animals that are reared at home. Yes, some of the domestic animals at home include cats, dogs, cattle, sheep, camels, goats, donkeys, and pigs. Animals, just like plants, also require water. Animals require water to stay healthy. Animals need water to drink and bathe. Some animals also live in water. Lana, can you think of some animals that live in water? Name two animals that live in water. Yes, the animals that live in water include fish, turtle, whales, dolphins, and penguins. We use a water trough to give animals water. 
we should not waste water because water is a scarce resource. Water is not found all the time. Finally, my dear Lana, now let us list down the uses of water in farming. The uses of water in farming. One, growing flowers, fruits and vegetables. Two, irrigation of crops irrigation of crops 3 cooling compost manure cooling compost manure 4 mixing water with fertilizers mixing water with fertilizers 5. Fish farming. Fish farming. And finally, watering animals. Watering animals. My dear Lana, remember, when watering animals, when watering animals, we should use clean water because dirty water will cause diseases to animals. That marks the end of our lesson for today. Ask your parent or guardian to help you plant a flower within your compound and ensure that you water your plant every day. If you have some animals that you rear at home, also remember to give them water. Use water well and always clean your hands regularly to avoid diseases such as the coronavirus. Until next time, it's goodbye. Hello, listener. Welcome to Agriculture Lesson for Grade 4. Today, we shall learn about the uses of water in farming. We shall learn about 